St. Francis has become a hockey factory since winning their first state championship in 2011. The Knights would have another dominant season last year before falling to St. Ignatius in the state championship. It was tough. Um, we knew we had a good team. We knew we could beat Ignatius. Uh, we knew we had the team that could do it. And to get down there and be in the position we were in and to not capitalize is just heartbreaking. It's, you still think about it today and it's in the back of your mind. It's just not a good taste in your mouth. Going last year and uh, losing like we did, it was difficult. So uh, we want to go back. We're ready, I think. Now the returning players and coaches are using that loss to fuel their playoff run this year. Except now, patience is key. Well, a lot of it is we take one game at a time. We just try and take it one game at a time. I think last year we might have, you know, looked ahead a little too far. Um, you know, now we're taking it, you know, day by day, practice by practice. Meanwhile, head coach Chris Varga has led the program to two state championships, and he remembers the Knights' last title in 2015. Oh, anytime you can win the last game of the year, that's something special. I don't know, everybody has their own interpretation of it. You know, we've only had one kid on this team that has won states with us, and that's Matt Barrow. He won it, he got the game winner as a freshman four years ago. It was really cool cheering all those guys on. I was good buddies with all those guys, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, my best friend and cousin, Matt, he was on that team, scored the game winning goal. Never hear the end of that one. That was my freshman year. Um, you know, sitting in the stands, you, you see that happen, it's like, I want to be a part of that. It was one of those things where you could get the feeling, you got the chills when that they scored that empty netter that sealed the deal, and it's just, to get that feeling as a player this year would be amazing. As the 2015 Knights did, these players want to bring a state championship back to Bancroft, but they're well aware of the challenges that lie ahead. I think if we all just do what we're supposed to, if Coward makes saves, if Timmy and Diggs and the rest of the defense stop it, and uh, all the forwards score, we, we should be in pretty good shape. I don't think the talent matters. Uh, if you come to the rink, you work hard, and you play the way you can, um, I think this team has the work ethic to get it done. The ultimate thing is how hard do you want to work and sacrifice on blocking shots, doing the dirty work. That's what's going to win hockey games. The Knights can punch their ticket back to Columbus by defeating St. John's in the Sylvania District Final this weekend. Reporting from Tamil Shanner, Zach Harry, BCSA. Well, there you go, St. Francis, St. John's District Final coming up this week. The winner gets the winner of Walsh Jesuit U School out of that Kent bracket. So it's a good matchup for the winner of the Sylvania District. We'll see if the Knights can make it four in a row. St. Francis, St. John's offense, defense, uh, and how, do you, how do you see it? Uh, you have to stop this powerful St. Francis team from scoring. So Cole Kessner, a lot of pressure is going to go right back onto him. If it's a one or two goals for St. Francis type of game, St. John's has a chance. 